Hi, welcome back to another quick guide. Today I'll teach you how to fix Razor Cortex not launching. And it's literally an easy process, so make sure to watch until the end of the video to know how it's done. If Razor Cortex is not launching on your system, there are several troubleshooting steps you can follow to resolve the issue. Here are some general suggestions. So the first guide would be, ensure that you have the latest version of Razer Cortex installed. Just visit the official Razer Cortex website and download the most recent version. Next guide, right click on the Razer Cortex shortcut or executable file. Choose run as administrator to provide elevated privileges. Next guide, right click on the Razer Cortex shortcut or executable file. Choose properties and go to the compatibility tab. Enable run this program in compatibility mode 4. And choose the previews Windows version. Test different compatibility modes if necessary. Hit apply, then hit OK. Another guide, your antivirus or firewall might be blocking Razer Cortex. Temporarily disable your antivirus or firewall and see if the issue persists. Next guide, uninstall Razer Cortex from your system. Download the latest version from the official Razer Cortex website and reinstall it. Next guide, confirm that your system meets the minimum requirements for Razer Cortex. Check the official Razer website for the system requirements. Another guide, ensure that your graphics drivers are up to date Visit the official website of your graphics card manufacturer like NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel and download the latest drivers. Next guide, use the task manager to check for any background processes related to Razer Cortex and any processes that might be lingering and preventing a fresh launch. Another guide, open the event viewer on your PC and look for any error messages related to Razer Cortex. This may provide clues about the cause of the issue. And lastly, if none of the above steps resolve the problem, consider reaching out to Razer support for assistance. They may provide specific troubleshooting steps or updates related to the launching issues. And that's all for now folks, hope you like and subscribe, thank you.